Back up. Crack some heads open, drag the bodies inside. Hey. In you go. Did you anything? No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean you up your what, own Rogue? shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue. Wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking Rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, t -Bug. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through obits? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Osaka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got balls on you, boy. Don't like that on everybody, but they seem to sue you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm. See? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often, determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. Thanks, but I'll pass. Hell's wrong with you. Good stuff. Your loss. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? 
Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. The dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native. Know any Hickmerks? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation? Your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Seems wonky to me. Nomads give the city, city folk, a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Can't be trusted if her clan banished her. Sorry, just not willing to pay you for help like that. Actually, she walked away. Said it was about the family, its future, nomad ideals, blah, 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 blah. I stopped listening a few words in. Thought you preferred to know who you're dealing with. I know enough. Besides, when someone starts spouting ideals, it's probably about something else. Power, usually. Fortunately, not my biz, not yours. Pan Am's capable and stands to help you. That's all you need to know. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could have ended. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. Oh, V. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. Let's get All out clear. Of here. Thanks. Good luck. Hey, interested in some work? Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah, everything except my pay. 
Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Duty free and detail free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Till then, I guess. CUV. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. Right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. My witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now, by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. Sorry, but what was gonna take much now? longer? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky. 
that I am not you. Oda! You can't... What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said, they returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Okaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? G Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? I'm just asking. Is everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. Now, I may not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. <laughs> but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host. He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in. Nah, that was close. He almost recognized me. But a comedian? With your sense Rogue, of humor, my sweet. why not? This has got to be a misunderstanding. 
I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Wukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Come on. Got your finger on the hood's pulse. Know everything. Parade honoring Saburo Arasaka? You're prepping in some way, no doubt. Won't see me dressed in mourning. Iwanante. But the rest is true. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. V? I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. 
it comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the Tiger Claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. Delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. No. Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, pst. get in. Okay, <laughs> sure. Need your help with my fiance Bill and his buddy Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade-A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. Why's Dodger got you all shaken at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hansen. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please.
asking any willing volunteers eager to help in the effort to report to their local NCPD station. In exchange, the police are offering the chance of a criminal record reset. spending your day with WNS News. Night City is still in a state of mourning following the death of Arasaka CEO, Saburo Arasaka. And all major public events have been postponed until further notice. There's a switch to the right. Use it. My right or your right? My fucking right. We got a asking Charlie or Bill it's Charlie so Stella did manage to find someone thank fuck okay let's try to get this open fucking slap this thing a little help come on Jesus fucking Christ I know what the fuck don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Stella wasn't kidding. <laughs> Doesn't get much more bad than this. <laughs> Could really use your help. You don't fucking say. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Bet it'd take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one Plan who set up the deal with was Dodger! was rock fucking solid! If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie! How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? Cut it out, fellas. Take me through what happened. Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Exemplary police work. Truly. So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could've had a food tube implant. Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek- oh, tr track it- tra fuck. 
poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? Stella was right. You two are bona fide jackasses. We panicked, all right? Shit happens. <sighs> this... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right. Let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, Stella's Always gonna value kill you. me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger Scoot! Careful! Huh? Guys? Hey, this wasn't us, okay? Gotta be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket.
Shit, shit! Sorry. You got it. They're coming! Do something! Oh. right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Kill Jewel. Got them right here. Fellas. Oh, I'm out early. We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, they look like. <laughs> Safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup. Nothing left but hop in your ride, flee the scene. I'm sure you can manage that much. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay. I'll radio us in. Tell him we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella. Ça, ça y est même. Oh, oh. On est claqué la tête, ami. Shit! 
So the drones don't lie, it's you! Thank the fucking lord, it's fake, gotta be. El Capitan, you tracking me in Dogtown? No, no, not you, the car. Listen, I'll explain, but first, you gotta bring her to me. Flipping you the cords. This a proper ignition. Fucking useless scrap. V, scan this motherfucker. Gonked again. Prime looking, but useless. At least with you, it's the other way around. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> relax. Just teasing, man. Anyway, come on. If I wanted my dick way, I wouldn't stand out in the rain. This one's stolen, too. Stolen? Oh, v, you're breaking my heart. Give it to me straight, Cap. The wheels. What's your scheme? Got a need for speed, huh? Yeah, me too. But first, I'm not gonna haze you. The car you brought's looking a little worse for wear. Every scratch is a loss, you feel me? Two, I'm selling them. Three, Dogtown's full of chances, and chances are what I like. Four, you called it a scheme? Man, I prefer to call it a, a creative license. Right. What's this creative endeavor need from me? Gonna need you ready to grab some easy ads. Listen, I got like a gift. A sixth sense. I can tell when a ride's bored. Needs a change of hands. Sometimes I hear him calling over in Dogtown. Sometimes in Night City. Right. And this sixth sense tells you to tell me to bring him to this chop shop? Oh, chop shop. Well, please. But, yeah. You rein in the wheels, you rake in the ads. Of course, it's all part of a larger plan. 
Well, well. Picked up a tail, huh? No, I don't think so. Relax, we're in my hood. Let's see what they want. NCPD asshole. You got a license and a ridge for them ugly mugs? I don't fucking believe this. Daniels, the fuck, man? You take a fucking squad car to pick up a clipped ride in uniform? Not the only one on his home turf, mama. Hey, Nabaville Fort Alvarado for the top brass, too. I'll get the gear for our little plan. Hold the phone. El Cap handing out bribes? <laughs> I'm shocked. Shocked. There an honest cop left in this city? There is. But they lay low. Don't got that fire in their eyes, you know? Prem, thanks for the cred. Cars, deeds, and docks are on their way. You see? It's just biz. Come on, rain stopped. Okay, you just met one of our clients. So, in on the gig? Always driving somewhere. Might as well pick up some scratch on the way. You gonna make it worth my while? Come on, man. With El Capitan, your future's looking right. I fix you your gigs, your fancy payouts, nothing but upsides. Counting on it. Sure, sure. Let's see what tomorrow brings. El Capitan will be in contact.